When it comes to nuclear subs, the U.S. Navy is responsible for some of the largest, stealthiest, and most powerful vessels the world has ever seen. The Ohio-class sub was a monster born out of the Cold War, and the Virginia-class carries on this legacy for modern warfare. Today, we're going to look at what makes these subs world-leading in their class. Let's start with the Virginia. This class represents a new advanced stealth multi-mission nuclear-powered attack submarine for deep ocean anti-submarine warfare and shallow water operations. When looking for a replacement for the Los Angeles-class submarines in combating Soviet forces, the Sea Wolf submarine was developed for this role. The huge unit cost and changing strategic requirements led to the U.S. Navy defining a smaller, new-generation attack submarine. This is what led to the Virginia class. The sub has been a collaborative effort. Babcock and Wilcox Nuclear Operations received a contract for the assembly of nuclear propulsion components for the subs back in February 2013. General Dynamics Electric Boat has won several modification contracts over the years in support of the development program. The company was awarded $9 million in funds to support the continued development of the Virginia payload module, and from the end of 2017 to December 2018, the company received contract modifications totaling $778 million for research and development and lead yard services to improve the design and study technologies for integration into the submarine. For the subs themselves, they are being built by a partnership between Huntington Ingalls Industries' Newport News Shipbuilding Division and General Dynamics. GD's Electric Boat Division built the original in the class, Virginia-designated SSN 774, and Northrop Grumman Newport News built the second, known as Texas, or SSN 775. The ten remaining vessels in the class are split between Northrop Grumman and GD. The engineering, design, and build teams at Electric Boat, in collaboration with the Naval Sea Systems Command, or NAVC, of the U.S. Navy, used extensive simulation systems to optimize the design of the sub. The hull is 377 feet long, with a beam of 34 feet. The displacement of 7,300 tons dived is smaller than the more expensive Sea Wolf attack submarine it replaced with a displacement of 9,137 tons dived. The hull structure contains structurally integrated enclosures, which house standard 19-inch and 24-inch width equipment for ease of installation, repair, and upgrade of the submarine's systems. The sub is a modular isolated deck structure like the submarine's command center that is installed as one single unit, resting on cushioned mounting points. The submarine's control suite is equipped with computer touchscreens, and its steering and diving are controlled with a four-button, two-axis joystick. The Command and Control Systems module was developed by a team led by Lockheed Martin Naval Electronics and Surveillance Systems. It integrates all of the vessel's systems, sensors, countermeasure technology, navigation, and weapon control and is based on open system architecture. In terms of weaponry, the attack submarine is equipped with 12 vertical missile launch tubes and four 533mm torpedo tubes. This has the ability to launch 16 Tomahawk submarine-launched cruise missiles in a single salvo. It also has the potential to launch 26 Mark 48 ADCAP Mod 6 heavyweight torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles fired from 21-inch tubes. An integral lockout lock-in chamber is included in the hull for special operations. This can host a mini-submarine such as Northrop Grumman's Oceanic and Naval Systems Advanced Seal Delivery System, which can deliver special warfare forces such as Navy SEAL teams or Marine Reconnaissance Units for counterterrorism or localized conflict operations on a variety of operations. In contrast to the Virginia's nimble and stealthy operation, the Ohio-class submarines represent the biggest sub ever built for the U.S. Navy. This gigantic group of submarines demonstrates the very pinnacle of American deep-sea engineering and has become home to some of the most lethal weapons on the planet. In the 70s, at the height of the Cold War, the U.S. Navy began planning its fifth series of ballistic missile submarines. They were built to be 560 feet long at a weight of 18,750 tons submerged to make it the largest American submarine ever built. 
The Electric Boat Division of General Dynamics, who helped design the Virginia class, built the 18 Ohio submarines between 1981 and 1997. The crew on each sub comprises 15 officers and 140 enlisted servicemen. The vessels are officially meant to dive to 800 feet, but that number is thought to be closer to 1,500. The power plant tasked with moving this massive sub is the General Electric S8G nuclear reactor, which turns two steam turbines and provides up to 60,000 horsepower to the vessel. The Ohio class is also equipped with a 325 horsepower Magnatech auxiliary prop motor. It's streamlined to operate entirely underwater at speeds of 30 plus knots and remains submerged indefinitely. Only food and water for the crew limit the amount of time spent in the ocean depths. Although the Ohio was built primarily as a launcher of nuclear weapons, each of the subs is equipped with four 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. The torpedo used most often with the Ohio class has been the Mark 48 guided weapon, but this has now been upgraded to the Mark 48 ADCAP. The Mark 48 is a heavyweight torpedo with a warhead of 290 kilograms, which has been used by the U.S. Navy since 1972. The torpedo can be operated with or without wire guidance, and the system has active and passive acoustic homing. It has a range of up to 50 kilometers at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. After launch, the weapon carries out target search, acquisition, and attack procedures, delivering to a depth of 3,000 feet. But it's the nuclear firing capability that sets these submarines apart and made them so lethal. These are stored in an elevated position behind the sail. The first eight Ohio-class subs were all built with their silos filled with Trident C-4 missiles. These weighed 73,000 pounds and had a maximum range of 4,000 nautical miles. Following this, they were then replaced with Trident II D-5 weapons that weigh 130,000 pounds. But because of a lesser nuclear threat, the Navy made the decision to convert four of the subs in the early 2000s. Ohio, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia were changed into guided missile vessels rather than for nuclear launchers. The Trident missiles were removed and 22 silos were modified to carry seven Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles. These huge subs are now able to carry a mass of 154 cruise missiles, giving each vessel more firepower than an aircraft carrier can generate over the course of an entire day. The Tomahawks are loaded in seven-shot, multiple all-up round canisters and up to 22 missile tubes. The missile tubes are also future-proof to house newer payloads, such as different types of missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and unmanned undersea vehicles. There are 14 Ohio-class subs available, and the aim is to always keep as many at sea at any one time. What do you think about nuclear subs? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.